friends very very happy to welcome you all i see so many friends now i was just waiting for you all to join slowly and now i see some people welcome you all to this 14th episode of wild wild slide lounge and it had been a thrilling journey so far in this lounge section too it is such a privilege to listen to amazing people who uh, agree to be my guest and come and uh, share their lives experience nuggets gold nuggets i would say and uh, enrich us all through their life through their experience through their example everyone has had something to say something to contribute something very special and that's why they could come in this series and share it all and tonight is no exception and i am even more thrilled tonight to invite one of my very dear friend like my younger brother and i had been fortunate enough to share lots and lots of music with him in all these uh, more than i would say about 20 years or so we had been playing together and he is none other than world class flute player in my opinion very very creative very talented super committed to his art his passion and his name is Bapu Padmanabha He is such an exciting flute player such an exciting flute player and uh, and also such calming meditative at the same time immense talent immense creativity and immense application and immense dedication this is all like it's a very unique package to be found in a in one person and i have always admired him for all these qualities his music his his commitment his intensity is really on a next level so and also in such a small span of time he had done so much of international music also collaborations and also he featured he um um he he did a very excellent beautiful music for a movie alama and he got two national awards being a debut mu- movie this is not a small achievement this is a big big achievement and he fully deserves it and i was so happy when i read in newspapers that bapu got this award so beautiful so amazed so happy and so proud that people that you know and uh, they they achieve so big it's it's a it's like we share it also so now i would simply invite him and see what he has to say like Babu please accept the request and you will be on the screen. Hello Babu. <laughs> namaste Manish. Namaste 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 ji. Kya baat hai kya baat hai wow. So happy to have you here my dear brother. So happy. It yes, has been yes. in my on my mind so long that I will be inviting, and it's in this series I have been inviting so many of my friends who had the tremendous music, shared their talent, the music worldwide in a beautiful, elegant, and very meditative way, very consciously, I would say. That application of consciousness that automatically flows in their art, their their expression of art. that is their usp that is their usp because music many many thousand of people do but when so some do it in a conscious way 
applying their lives the transformatory uh, energies into their art and then they share it becomes very special it becomes really very special so babu very very happy to invite you how are you now <laughs> just tell me where are you and what have you been doing lately hello okay okay yeah so tell me babu how are you where are you and what have you been doing lately uh i'm fine and uh, namaste to all who are all joined in this session and uh, currently i'm in bengaluru mm mm-hmm. so currently i'm doing uh, some of my recordings in mantra and chanting's music at this moment mm mm-hmm. and uh, i'm very happy that i'm uh, a be part of this uh, wonderful wild wild slide launch episode thank <laughs> you for inviting me <laughs> yes yes dear babu you were always on my mind but you know yes jab right time hota hai tab wo achanak se click hota hai and then it all because yes. i when well, since i have started this i always found that nothing is in my control as such i mean i may mm-hmm. appear to invite and this and that but finally who who should be he or she comes i mean it's very mysterious so many people mm-hmm. cancel also then so many people agree also immediately and it goes so mysteriously it's just like i am just a medium to invite another soul here and that soul would share so much of its experience and its stories of its journey yes, yes. but first of all babu please play something for us please play something yes. for us for sure <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
normally uh, this is a very difficult question but uh, frankly speaking flute chose me yeah of course sure because, uh, in the beginning uh, you are explaining about the doing and happening yes so two things whenever there is a doing there is a doer yes when there is a happening it simply happens there's no so happening <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> only happening only happening yeah. yes and uh, especially uh, in art mm. it is beyond mind so the mind is a supporting factor to reach to the heart center mm-hmm. so when we take flute when it is there something start flowing and it comes through the instrument mm-hmm. as you said that uh, uh, this is hollow and when i play this it creates some sound for the same thing 
this physical body is a flute for that existence whatever it plays it comes hmm kya baat bahut acha so my question was how did it all start in your life the, the magic of flute like since when and how did you uh, take it up all seriously and how the passion grew like i would like to know okay when i was 18 i started playing flute uh, mm. i just purchased one flute from mela a fair mm. in our southern part of india and mm. i then i started playing some filmy tunes mm. and then i came to know about uh, guru pandit shri hari prasad chaurasi and his audio cassettes at that time there, there were audio cassettes mm. so i started uh, seeing his pictures and so much fascinated by his uh, playing style so it started like that and at that time i was studying in hospit uh, tool and die making engineering so okay. i was in the fourth fourth semester so then i started imitating his style by listening to his uh, folk mm. his mm. george jala techniques and tanging mm-hmm. so hari ji came to hampi hampi utsava to perform okay. there mm-hmm. uh, i met him and then i requested i want to learn flute so then he said mumbai aa jao mm. so then uh, in my vacation i went to mumbai but uh, he was not there in mumbai and then uh, again second time i went and i met him he was there mm-hmm. then obiji told me to play something mm-hmm. so i just played uh, whatever i was imitating uh, throughout those years mm-hmm. then hari told me that mere tarah bajane ke liye main hu ab ab aa jao main sikhata hu aur seekhna shuru karo so then it started like that mm-hmm. So 99 September I joined Hari Ji in Mumbai. Mm-hmm. At those time he used to take classes in Petit School, which is in Bandra. Mm-hmm. Now there is a good school. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are very fortunate enough that uh, whenever he is in India, he is very particular about the classes. Mm-hmm. He used to come and uh, it started. So at that time I was in eighth semester. Mm-hmm. so in my family people were not aware that i told them that i am i'll be going on industrial tour visit <laughs> <laughs> so it started like that mm. then uh, hari ji accepted so hari ji told me to get one good flute mm-hmm. i just inquired there so i came to know that that flute was so expensive in 99 mm-hmm. so next day i just trusted guru ji that next day he came and he gifted his flute wow from ab aaj se ye bajao mm-hmm. so like that the journey started so beautiful yeah. so beautiful like a blessing you received flute from the master and such a auspicious start very nice yes, yes. and how was he teaching i mean what was his method and the ambience around in those times uh there was a, a class classroom so mm-hmm. once the children the, after the classes we used to sit there hari ji mm-hmm. used to come over and then he used to take one raga and he should mm-hmm. tell me the aroha avroha and the pakad of the raga mm-hmm. and then slowly he starts improvising it mm-hmm. so we used to follow him mm-hmm. so it's a kind of uh, exchange of uh, art through a heart mm. to heart connection mm. yes i i saw in many interviews also of hari ji and also when i heard interviews of his other disciples all had the same story that how how generous hari ji is in not only music but also his love he gives space he he makes everything possible any whatever he can uh to assist the students in so many ways and encourages them later also once once they have learned fully and they are on a performing level then also he takes them t- with uh, with him in tours and and so automatically uh 
an exposure is given to the student people started it uh, start to know okay this is hari ji student and he's playing like this and then he automatically gets breaks the student gets break or he she gets break so it's so beautiful the way he has handled his teaching aspect i mean apart from other amazing things he does but teaching also is like i mean not everybody can be a good teacher even generous teachers are little far away but even a good teacher normal teacher i mean not everybody can be like that also so to teach oh. and to teach on that level and then to uh, to take care of student in any way possible for him if not at least spiritually if not at least he would bless them with his presence with his words and that blessing also is, is so much when you get these things from guru like it's like you are getting some kind of um adrenaline rush like oh my god guru ji has said this so this is i mean nothing could compare here right right uh, the, the 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 basically what happens is there are three things one uh, there is a person so sometimes we attract a uh, seeing as a person sometimes there are few people where we attracted towards their personalities a uh, very mm. few people will be there be attracted to with their presence yes the moment guru ji comes we can feel his presence mm. he is beyond person and personality just a mm. presence mm. Uh, his presence will make us some different vibes all together so that music will start flowing from the being mm. mm-hmm. that's the main thing mm. and uh, how did your spiritual journey start like uh, you were since your childhood very much interested in uh, in meditation or some religious activities how did i mean what brought you there okay the thing is uh, in my childhood uh, i used to learn all this vedic chants and mantras Mm-hmm. uh it it was routine in our uh, area so i used to live near temple in the bank mm-hmm. of rivers so the already the vibes are inherent mm-hmm. so after meeting hari prasad chaurasi in 1999 mm-hmm. so 2000 i came to pune after mm-hmm. completing my education i came mm-hmm. to pune for my work why mm-hmm. i chose pune is because it's a cultural hub Mm-hmm. and uh, mumbai close to me so that i can mm-hmm. travel and meet guru ji so there in the company where i was working mm-hmm. uh, when in the lunch time i came and they in in the security checking department mm-hmm. i see osho times magazine mm-hmm. oh, i see the osho picture was there and then i thought are i used to hear about uh, this person and this ashram in my high school days mm-hmm. and i'm fortunate to be in pune let me see how it is there and then i went to koregaon park mm-hmm. i went there and then they said no no we need a pass to enter mm-hmm. so then i thought chalo abhi pass nahi hai to kya hua ye pass to hai ha and uh, I, i sat near the welcome center and then i started playing flute ha ha so then uh, one uh, named as agheya uh, she came there and then mm-hmm. she invited me inside and then my okay. first performance after, after hariji my first performance in uh, osho samadhi walk through mm-hmm. the walk through meditation i played the silence and playing some sound and playing some mm-hmm. so after that i just sat and relaxed myself in buddha hall mm-hmm. and then i started uh, realizing and i came to know that music is there something beyond entertainment yes and slowly slowly i started enjoying the silence and uh, our music should support uh, the listeners or the performer to enjoy the silence in between the notes mm-hmm. so slowly slowly Uh, performance and uh, other activities they started and they started going inward 
Mm-hmm. And luckily, there only I met you. Ah, uh, yes. I used to play in uh, White Robe. Mm. And from there, that journey started. Whatever I was reading in my childhood, uh, I got a beautiful device to experiment in Kamya. All the mm. meditation techniques, Nada Brahma, Kudalini, everything. Mm. So it's like that we started. Mm. When I remember, I used to give you lots of Kannada books. Exactly, books, you are in the library. You know, so many things, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and we were always talking about you many times. Other musicians said, "Okay, if next time Babu comes, then we will do this, we will do that, and he will join us in this activity, in this event." And slowly, slowly, Correct. we started playing like. like children used to play in household you know we were it was like a big household and we were there somebody was doing another thing somebody was cooking somebody was playing somebody was do, on his on doing things on computer i mean there it was like this only the commune right. atmosphere right. was like a big house home it was home right. to us because we had been traveling i don't know how many lives and then could find a place where we could finally like come and rest and say, oh wow this is real home like <clears throat> you are so much at home and uh, it was such a joy to create music it was a luxury like it became like another big thing like oh my god so we have we are not only having chai but cake also <laughs> <laughs> so true true so music was like cake and we were allowed to have it too so it was like amazing amazing days those we when we would be playing with amrish also if you remember uh, that he right. passed away 2 3 years ago and uh, oh. so we used to play so many events white robe and it every event was a learning experience every event and was sanya. sanya and sanya celebration wow another high yeah. amazing Hi. amazing events amazing things so <clears throat> so then did you also meditate when you were went to back, went back to your home to your hometown yes yes it it it, it always there it's always there I, because it's a it's a beautiful device that experiments uh, on ourselves uh, because there are 112 techniques so from top to bottom everything is a device for us to make use and especially we are blessed with the uh, music because art form is such a wonderful medium to connect in between known and unknown mm-hmm. it's very beautiful thing. and then especially music uh, we don't need any language or words to express the notes are there it keep on expressing Yes. So that's why I keep on playing, and the playing is a meditation for me. Mm-hmm. And then, how life progressed for you? Like after meeting, after coming to Osho in Pune Ashram, and then you were doing other things also. And yes. How, yeah. Please tell us about that. Uh, after this thing, two thousand two, I started working, and then I started performing here and there. and i used to work in the movies uh, in mm-hmm. uh, kannada movies south indian movies in the beginning in mm-hmm. 2009 7 it started i started working with i worked with hari ranji shan and mm-hmm. other uh, namely singers in movie department mm-hmm. and then slowly i started creating our own compositions mm-hmm. in pune because pune is such a experimental hub so i used mm-hmm. to with the nitin joshi kedar mm. pandit anand kurekar in mm. sound ideas when started mm. and then i started working with sound and uh, mantras how best we can collaborate with this uh, new technical uh, modern way to present it mm. so like that i started keep on performing as well as uh, producing the albums mm. and then you remember myself you they we are all traveled together yes those were amazing days <laughs> almost almost uh, what was that serial uh, that tv serial 
Uh, uh, yeah, no, no, no. Forgetting the name of that serial. Days, Malgudi days. Almost like Malgudi days. Malgudi days. <laughs> Experience. Correct. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Karnataka is such a beautiful place. I am so amazed whenever I go there. I mean, I went later on Amrish's invitation also. He uh, took me around. He, we used to uh, go to forest hiking and so many things like and it was such an amazing thing green so much nature in karnataka so much spirituality in temples and other places and uh, of course the cities are cities but the the rural villages part. the rural part is very amazing like one or two times we you invited me also and we went to those remote areas and we played oh. amazing music there that was such a beautiful experience beautiful days now we if we think about those days now we seeing my god humne sab kiya wo sab golden days golden days really golden days really golden days. that we are very grateful to this existence yes so 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 like that the journey started and then uh, collaborating with other musical tradition started in 2006 uh, ministry of external affairs government of india they took my music and they started giving it to the diplomats who visit india mm. under the title music as therapy mm. and story slowly it started okay. and how did you start uh, start to work on this movie alama finally like how you got this and how you started music for that yeah uh, the in the studio named as in in arvin studio i used to record all my albums in bangalore okay so i recorded rudra chantings the mantra series and other uh, spiritual uh, album hmm. so the owner introduced me to the director one of the famous director here in south india the very senior director mr t s nagavarana mm-hmm. so i met him and then we discussed about the topic and especially mm-hmm. the allama was a 12th century mystic from karnataka mm-hmm. so mysticism and spiritual thing this is my one of my favorite topic and subject so then mm-hmm. i said are let me go into this mm-hmm. deeply so it mm-hmm. was very easy for me to communicate and then organize those things mm-hmm. in a musical garland mm-hmm. very nice yeah. very nice and we were are so proud of you that you got two national awards for this which is a huge achievement and it's like it made our heart swell with pride that wow bapu our bapu did that so nice oh, thank you thank you very nice but uh, uh, the best experience uh, whatever we uh, experimented here in uh, commune so everything is a uh, total experience was there and i was having uh, some canvas to draw all those experiences there same here same with me because whatever we learned in those days in those years is actually what we are doing otherwise also in outside world what exactly we are doing the same thing yeah, of course with the application will be slightly different and but the format the same mind is so much now trained to all those uh effortless fusions effortless combination collaborations that we, we would be doing on daily basis there okay somebody sure. from greek is come st- suddenly comes and plays something and then some turkish guy is playing something and then some uh, american is playing something and then brazilian is playing something and we are suddenly part of it and we are doing it all together without realizing Come. it's like a fusion or whatever it is we were just doing for master for the energy of this place and in return we were learning so much that it st- still stays with us and we are still doing the same thing only outside exactly it's just a flow when yeah. when when we are performing there it, the vibes and other thing will take us and then flow continues yes 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 so just a short while play something again bapu anything you feel like just a short short sure, sure sure i'll play <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
like to know about this uh, project or your company antardhvani you started no? yes yeah please tell Sound us about that ha huh. uh, antardhvani is a small uh, association we have with the like minded people okay uh, we have, we we normally uh, produce these uh, ancient vedic chants and then uh, there are uh, there are beautiful Uh, vachanas vachanas means it's a kind of zen haikus in kannada okay small two two lines but it contains the life meaning philosophical mm. words mm. so we are recording those things and then we have a good friend uh, called as mr ramakant raut so uh, he is here he is here he is here ah he is here ha <laughs> <laughs> So Ramakant is a very good friend of me. We associate since from fourteen years. Yes, yes. So he he is plays regularly tabla and he is a rhythm. He takes care of the rhythms and other things in the live part. Mm-hmm. So we keep on producing the music. And then mm-hmm. whatever we produce, we try to present it for the youngsters. We mm-hmm. call it as a Vedu Yatra, mm-hmm. uh, flute yatra. Mm-hmm. We used to go to high schools, and I request the headmaster to give. Uh, Uh, half an hour time so that i can have an interaction with kids so that mm. at least they should know the uh, music and then they let them see this bansuri very closely mm. and how it comes 
the influential things and catch them in mm-hmm. so these are the things we are doing and we are enjoying this process mm-hmm. so this thing is going on and then still we are working on those things and we are collaborating with some other artist also mm-hmm. right going on Very and recently i recorded you in pune yes and uh, what a beautiful uh, slide guitar did it come out is no, it released uh, next week no no not at release next we are planning it comes under a ragas relaxation okay okay so i'm just uh, finally mastering everything okay 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 uh, also so, very, yeah sorry here yeah. yeah and and also we are working on the mantra and the music mm-hmm. like how best mantra helps as uh, the chantings and then the uh, the importance of that thing for example <clears throat> like uh, this is uh, such a wonderful thing the mantra mm-hmm. which are designed which i learned in childhood it contains three words mm-hmm. udatta anudatta swarita mm-hmm. om shambhave namaha namaste astu bhagavan vishveshwaraya mahadeva gatrambaka gatripuran takaya ತ್ರಿಗಾಗ್ನಿ ಕಾಲಾಯ ಕಾಲಾಗ್ನಿ ರುದ್ರಾಯ ನೀಲ ಕಂಠಾಯ ಮೃತ್ಯುಂಜಯ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ಸದಾ ಶಿವಾಯ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲಿ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಪ್ರೊನೌನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ ಸಾಮ್ವೇದ್ ನೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸಾಮ್ವೇದ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಡು ಇನ್ ಏನ್ಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ವುಡ್ in samaveda the elaboration is more mm-hmm. so the style which we which i chanted it's a rugvedic style okay and the process of uh, cleansing of the words and vak shuddhi so we are working on these things conducting workshops for the interested people and how to pronounce the mantras very nice kind of very stuff. very good very good may i suggest one thing here which i had been experimenting recently and this had been uh told and i had come across through many channelings and messages from masters that okay <clears throat> that humming oh. is as powerful as anything is the most powerful the most easiest way to connect humming mm-hmm. and humming means reverberations like when we hum like we are creating a frequency ourselves through our body system and and we are raising our vibration immediately immediately even a minute of humming will change our energy exactly so, so and and these mantras basically are doing the same thing they are making a reverberation of energy when we right. Right. recite them when we chant them when we pronounce these these mantras which are already like a energetic highway so uh, people know okay this is uh, the, the 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 meaning will go there the mantras are already charged the meaning is there the phonetically it's all perfect and when you say it so we reverberate it with that energy and frequency same thing yeah. without going into complexities of that can be attained also through simple humming and uh, and it because anybody can hum you it's not about rich or poor or illiterate or not uh, illiterate or whatever i mean it does it doesn't need anything even a mute person can also hum kind of so humming immediately raises our vibration and if you include this also in some other way some way possible in appropriate way then it will attract it will like really give the perfection of the purpose like the purpose is True. to boost and uh, the vibration to raise the consciousness and so in between or wherever is possible if you use humming like humming yes, humming, yes. humming humming collective humming 
and humming can be on two three ways like one can be deep which is coming from gut from navel from hara and another can be this is coming more from heart and throat and all that and then that high pitched humming when we go like this and it doesn't need any musical training it doesn't need to be sur wise correct or this and that because the purpose is simply to reverberate Everyone, simply yeah. to generate frequency and yeah, because it like it vibrates from inside yes when when we chant our lips openly like yes, ah, yes. it's outside yes. when we say mm, it's inside yes so and and also, also you can do that with open mouth also which is also possible uh, but anyway you are reverberating from the body itself so it Correct. doesn't really matter uh, it there are many so, ways say, whichever suits and it can I mean, different yeah. people will like different ways of doing it the purpose is to do that humming in a very steady way for at least 5 10 minutes or so and also if you chant mantra inside while humming okay simple mantra like om namah shivaya let's say so if you then i am doing on the outside or i mean from my mouth and all that but inside i may be chanting om namah shivaya or some prayer mm. or some thank gratefulness to god to human to existence to whatever it may be you know so then yeah, it also that's... magnifies the whole thing and i have been experimenting with it recently and i found this is the easiest way to meditate to connect to raise and if it is done in a group and let's say 20 people are sitting in a big hall room and if they are humming imagine the energies are raised and imagine the reverberations the resonance the you know the, it's like yeah we we experimented this in uh, our place uh, with the 6 lakh people hmm so uh, here there is a beautiful structure called as bija aksharas the seed words Mm-hmm. so the bija akshara will start the the design of the takshara is in such a way that uh, if you simply say the bija akshara the see it mm-hmm. start uh, we're waiting as you said inside mm-hmm. and if you add of- humming on top of it then it is immensely boosted you know it is exactly. no more- because the the world is designed in such a way that uh, as you said it starts reverberating inside only Dream, dream, um, like that. Yeah, yeah. And it's almost like if we are like we are playing acoustically now, and suddenly we we amplify the whole sound, and we add pedals, and we add this and that. Then what it happens? Similarly, that humming does like a music amplification, the vibrational amplification of whatever oh. is our intent. so since you are into this i just wanted to share it and uh, yeah true kya baat kya baat so i think this will help more people more i mean increase the efficiency of whatever you are doing i mean you can also experiment and on it you can first try it and then see how it works i mean it's up to you yes yes it's a experimental thing <laughs> yes yeah but very effective As correct, far, correct. as far as its efficiency is concerned, it's not experimental. I mean, how we use it can be experimental, but it's so how we efficient. use it is pure experimental, and uh, the efficiency is experiential. Yeah, and it is certain; it's guaranteed. It is guaranteed, like it is not that okay. Maybe it will work or not. No, it is guaranteed. anybody who hums is connected to his own higher self divinity himself ev- ground earth everything is like in a sink you know 
it's not without not already doing hmm? the, the best part is hmm. the way you use tanpura in music hmm. so tanpura is kind of a backbone of the music so when we as you said that when we start playing the notes and when we come back to the sa so the moment again and again it is such a wonderful indian classical music is designed in such a way it is for the pure uh, meditation inside going again and again we are coming back to the sa so whenever we show the sa it really helps the listener to sync with the tanpura tone and then he will start synchronizing with that uh, existential uh, omkara yes but existential no. omkara is not musical this is i want it's not a musical so it's not a musical so humming when we hum it need not be musical we are not humming to d c e b whatever no and when when we hum <clears throat> it's it's a natural natural it's a natural there natural is no vibration nothing is there for the things it it yeah. differ from person to person yeah and that is why it is anybody who has no knowledge of music nothing not totally non musical persons totally they can also do the humming and raise their vibration very good very good and they good. have no props are needed like tanpura and uh, an awareness of sa and all no nothing it is simply existentially no, when, when we say hum it's 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 over because it's a hum it's not a sound yeah it's a hum <laughs> it's a na <laughs> it's a <laughs> anhad na that's all and yes. the more we do the more we connect with the with the real na that is already in presence in the atmosphere in the in the universe because True. universe is is humming everything everything is humming in certain frequency and frequency will change it is not a fixed frequency it is not at okay 468 kilohertz is the frequency of universe no it it changes it's a flux it's an alive nad it is not a fixed nad it is an alive nad it keeps changing it keeps ch- taking shapes as so per the, the, the 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 best part is nada the proper real meaning of the nada na idam one is nudati iti nada and second is na idam means there is something beyond whatever i play it's ahat the sound produced by the friction and by using this sound we need to go to that sound where there is an unstruck sound anahat as you said yeah and for that we did need not pass through the bridge of ahat i am just saying mm-hmm. we can bypass music here and this is a very revolutionary no, thing to say because so that's why i used the, i used the word sound i didn't use the word music yes but na also pertains some way musical i would just say sound like you said sound is a perfect that's way to say it yeah sound that no need to even say na then all that because then we go into philosophy of na and all that <laughs> sound to soundlessness yes. sound to soundlessness yeah sound to whatever lessness even we don't say exactly. soundlessness whatever lessness is there whatever is there it yeah, is everybody's it experience exactly the best part is now let's make some uh, musical notes i want to hear your guitar now yes sure 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 100% yeah 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 aha Oh. 
Awa.
bohong.
so yes. thank you so much bapu thank you so much for joining this series and i wish you all the best for whatever whatever projects you are doing please continue to share beautiful music that you always do and i'm also very happy to state here that bapu is uh bapu's music is available on spotify uh itunes everywhere on these platforms and you can simply search by bapu padmanabha and download his beautiful music is always there and uh, so bapu take care in these covid cool. times and uh, <laughs> let's see when we can meet and do some real sure offline music too okay yes manish bhai thank you thank and, you bapu uh, thank you all the friends who joined and who yes. enjoyed this video thanks a lot thanks you thanks everyone once again thank you bapu yes, all sir. the best god bless you dear thank you manish bhai thank you thanks 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 take care yes.